guys, welcome to the awakening. 58 today. <laughs> um, today is a perfect day to do the awakening because I woke up today feeling, I don't know, just not right, feeling ill. I know there's lots of awakening symptoms going on. Peace the cat has just sneezed over there. <laughs> um, the weather has changed. Um, just a load of rage inside me, uh, just feeling ill, nausea, the liver, fe just feeling rotten and with loads of rage. And then I get this text from Avon, uh, which is really interesting, I'll tell you in a minute, to actually it completely ignore the message I sent to them when they asked me to sell their poisonous products which they are, full of sodium lauryl sulfate, full of parabens, and all I use is a tiny bit of organic lipstick. That's all I use, thanks to Zoom. I don't need to use anything. And they contacted the wrong person, and it just brought up all my, even more rage inside me. And I, I started looking at, at, at all the Avon groups. I'm in the dark, I'm in the dark. I'm looking at all the Avon groups and they're everywhere, manipulating all these innocent women, making women sick, giving them tumors, and, and also reducing their immune system so they get viruses that are out there. And, and, and it's like my blood is boiling at this point. And I think, right, how am I gonna take this from the dark into the light as I'm feeling it? I don't know about you, but today I feel overwhelmed by rage <laughs> today i feel really angry today i feel like um people contacting me and expecting me to work for free and it's like why you know why should i work for free because i do this uh, this is humanity this is saving lives this is saving the world um people tend to think that it's okay to ask me to work for free you know, they contact me, they want readings and all sorts. And I say, no, uh, either you pay or you barter. You do something to promote moving on TV. And then they go all quiet on me. So I think, well, what is wrong with people? You know, who works for free? I work, day, I work 17 hours a day on moving on TV. This is the rage. This is the anger. I have absolutely, you know, occasionally I get wonderful people like Charlie Ward promoting me. And most of the time, no one uh, pushes it enough or takes editing off of me. Or, I work 17 hours a day continuously, um, till usually till about 6 a.m. in the morning. This is not a rant. This is how you, a lot of you are feeling, that you're taken for granted. And, and when people contact you and they really want a reading from you, and I, I give my readings for free, and a lot of them are so accurate, the general timeless readings people have said are very accurate but then they ask me for something else and something else i say no what about me earning a living you know i've got to pay for the website the telephone uh editing who does everything me but i have to pay for insurance i have to pay out we're not living in a world yet where everything is free we're bartering where you can barter rent everything my husband earns goes to pay a landlord so you need to wake up here and people have to earn money. You have a right to earn money. Everyone has a right to be able to pay their bills and have a good life. And this is what I woke up with. All of this, all of this, all of this, the darkness. And I did this program because there's so much chaos, there's so much darkness, there's so much madness going on. Uh, two different worlds that we're living in. One world that says, we're free and the other world of lunatics are telling you to wear a mask and they and people are believing them so it, it's chaos and madness and if you're waking up if you're starting to wake up and understand then you're you're going to feel chaotic and mad on and off and it's okay to feel like that i watched this brilliant uh, reader on on youtube the other day yesterday last night and she said you are going to feel like that you have grief, you, you're detoxifying like the world. Some people look down at me and say, you're insane. You know, you're going back to your old habits. No, I haven't. Darkness to light, darkness to light. 
you are suffering, you're going through a lot, so am I. But you know, you have a right to earn, I have a right to earn. We all have a right to, to earn from our work. Um, so, um, yeah. So how do I take me and how do I take you into the light? Because isn't that what moving on TV is? Uh, and for some reason, today it's a bit dark in here. It's easy to keep it on the small screen. Um, how do I take us all from the, the, um, the darkness into the light? Because isn't that what moving on TV is? It's here to teach you to come out of the chaos. Now, if you want to watch someone who's always in the light and gets you very easily into it, there's Laurie Ladd, she's amazing. But I'm telling you not to deny the darkness. And if you see it in other people, and I'm always saying that, they're mirroring you, they're showing you that darkness. I'm going to read you a small section from um, How to Stay Safe in the Crazy World. And um, I opened it up where Casey says, um, he asked me a question here. Uh, Right, we're talking about people that go into chaos and people that are bringing up the past. This is to do with the childhood thing where Casey said, um, you turned to food and blocked out the whole painful experience. I don't know if I've been watching too much Law and Order, but I've heard if you block something, it could lead to sicknesses. Is there truth to that, okay? So isn't that synchronistic? I'm telling you not to block anything. Come with me into the darkness. Sit there and feel your rage because I can feel so angry today. This huge rage of everything that has happened to me, everything that's happened to humanity, all the blockages of not being able to work because I'm not selling, pushing drugs. The fact that these companies are selling poisonous chemicals to put into women's bodies. Women are getting cancer and tumors and no one is doing anything about it. But this is the darkness, the darkness. What do you feel? Bring it up, my friends. Sit with me and scream it out of you. Don't look at me and say, you're insane. Don't look at me and say, oh, you've got issues. Um, I haven't. You're just... I'm going to say that to you because I think that you have issues. You know what, mate? You're mirroring, I'm mirroring you. I'm mirroring the fact that you don't think you've got the right to feel your pain. Well, guess what? You have a right to feel your pain. So he said that to me. And I said, but of course, Casey, I blocked this all out. The therapeutic community had to make me feel like a tiny child again. That's the process. They take you back and that's when the magic happens. And suddenly I felt the pain I'd never felt. I realized that it had nothing to do with me as a child. My mom and dad were the idiots who sent me back to the person that was hurting me. I finally found inner peace because I thought it had been my fault. Everything was my fault, especially since I upset mom and dad. My dad used to say, you're giving your mother a heart attack. You're not allowed to be unhappy. You have to be a good girl. You mustn't cry because you're going to give your mother a heart attack. You know, my mother died of cancer at 80. No one ever had a heart attack. And as I was dad's aggravation, it was all me. Everything was me. Got blamed for everything. So, you know, I'm reading you little bits of simply amazing, my life story. So if you feel angry today, it's your little child kicking and screaming in there. So my little child is kicking and screaming in there. But I can take you into the light. I'm not going to do it yet because I want you to feel. I want you to feel your darkness. And with me, I can feel the bile, the sickness. And the best way to do it is to sit with it and breathe. Don't project it onto someone else. Don't project it onto anything. Either go into nature and sit with it and breathe and meditate. Where is all this rage coming from? It, where is it coming from? 
Why do I feel so angry? It's this helplessness again of the world not going out there and protecting people. It's this helplessness of not earning a penny uh, at all. <laughs> and, and it's asking you to sponsor Moving On TV, asking you to donate from the heart because I don't earn anything. I'm not begging you. I'm not on death's door. I can eat, you know. Um, but we live in a world, as I say, with the whole of my husband's salary, and he only gets a little bit. He's not working because they're closed because of the madness. They closed him down, and yet they don't pay him full salary. You see what this world is? We need a better world. You need to watch this and feel your rage. I want to bring it out of you today. I want to be that catalyst. Look at Lauren and get angry at what I'm saying. Say, I'm mad. Say, Lauren is mad. Lauren is enraged. Lauren has got this wrong with her. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. I want you to do that. I want you to do that. Because all I am is I'm a part of you. And if you won't pay me, you won't pay you. That's it. That's it. If you want me to do everything for you for free, you won't do anything for you. If you see madness and anger and rage in me and a huge amount of chaos in me at this moment, it's in you. I am showing you you. Why are you angry at me for showing you you? And if you say to me something like, oh, you've gone backwards to all your habits and patterns, what, what does that do to you? Are you trying to protect me? Have you got me on a pedestal? No, I haven't. I'll never, ever go back to the way I used to be. No one can. And even if I did, so what? I'm human. Life is very, very cruel at the moment. I can't go anywhere. I can't talk to anyone. Who can you talk to? I can't go down to a shop because they're going to expect me to stand outside in a queue in the pouring rain. They're mad. They're mad. <laughs> if they think I'm going to wear a mask, then they're mad as well. So I cannot go shopping, okay? So I have to sit here. My husband does the shopping, luckily. I just sit here and I do my work. We all have our work to do. So I go on here and I do my work. Bring it up. The madness. I did this incredible interview with David Mahoney yesterday. A beautiful interview. We talked about, have you lost your minds, the human race? Have you just lost your brains? Because it seems like you've lost your brains because you're saying that everyone's gonna die because they're doing Trump rallies, but you're not saying everyone's gonna die when they're protesting in groups for Black Lives Matter. The media is telling you that and you believe it? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> you know, this is ego coming up, coming up, and I want you to watch this. I particularly want you to watch this and I'm going to send it to particular people that are blanking me because they don't want me to come off my pedestal. They think it's going to destroy my reputation. Well, my reputation is to tell you to be real. I don't care. My reputation is to tell you to feel, really feel. Because when I was in the therapeutic community, that's what I did. I felt, and I felt, and I cried, and I felt. And for eight months, I felt, I felt. And at some point, the magic happened. And now you've got more opportunities to do that very quickly because of the ascension, because it's coming at you all over the place. Let the madness reign. I'm not going to let you off, whoever you are. Block me, cut me off. If you do that, you're not a friend. If you do that, you're a coward. You're a coward. And I can't talk to you because you won't get back to me. And also, I like to talk to people directly. And I have stuff to say to people. I have a lot of stuff to say. But at the moment, all my energy is going into supporting humanity. So you get up there. If you're not happy, if your business can't open because of madness, Get out there and do a protest because it's all a lie. Show the world the government website information that says 
that this thing is not contagious, it's never been contagious. Show it to everyone. Get, grow a pair, do something. If you want your business to open, fight for it, do something. Come on moving on TV and say what you need to say. We push it out there and we get results. The media won't do that for you. The media wants to keep you locked down for life, okay? Because the swamp has been drained. So this is chaos. Everything around us is happening, okay? Watch Charlie Ward and he will tell you what's happening, all the good stuff. Watch me and I will tell you to feel because the only way to get over these mental illnesses, everything that you've been told it makes you sick or different or pump you with drugs, Today I'm interviewing Kate Shimriani. That's going to be fascinating. A real nurse. And I'm going to be talking to her is how are we people so stupid to not check the labels on their drugs? What is wrong with them? They've lost their brains. Again, David Mahoney and myself, we talked about the fact that people are in trance. That it's like a hypnosis. 9-11. Oh, it's a fascinating interview. I will get it on as soon as I can. Anyway, the thing that's going on for you uh, tomorrow is questions and answers. I've just got to watch it one more time. And it's got loads of questions and answers. Like Charlie Ward, I'm doing questions and answers for you to share. This is the light. So I've jumped into the light. What can you do today for, work, for the world? What can you do today for your fellow man? What can you do today to bring the light back in? They took away my Facebook page. I've got 11 days to go before I can do meditations and positivity and this sort of stuff. Tarot reading, everything for the public. I never ask for a penny, guys, when I do this stuff. Never. But now I'm asking. Now I'm asking. I'm coming out of it. What have I got to lose? Are you going to tune out if I ask you to donate something for the work I do? How do you think all the truth is survive? They get sponsors and, and Patreon. I, I'm no good at doing that. If you want to come on board and help me create Patreon, you, um, you know, please do. I'm looking for people to barter. So that's, I'm taking you into the light. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Let's wake as many people up. I'm grateful you're watching my program. Today I put out, heroes i put mitchell gerber mitchell gerber who is going out there to release the Falun Dafa. we don't know where he is please send out the message we want to know that he's safe and alive do something kind today philip day has created a new group please contact me to find him it's called the resistance it's called The Resistance. It's a resistance group. We give you all the information with credence. Philip Day woke me up. If it wasn't for Philip Day, I wouldn't be walking around now from the Campaign for Truth in Medicine. Going into the light, I'm taking everything, guys, everything that I am today, and I'm telling you the truth. Don't deny your feelings. Never, ever deny the chaos and the rage and the fear that you say that you feel. I'm going to check a course in miracles. I am not ranting. I am telling you the truth. I'm going to check a course in miracles now. God is but love and therefore so am I. There is one life and that I share with God. Your grace has given me. I claim it now. God is but love and therefore so am I. I've been given a job as a messenger to not tell you to just lie there and play dead and just uh, be all happy, clappy and yay. No, I'm telling you, or to sit there and complain and whinge, I'm telling you to go out there and do it. Screw your courage to the stick, as they say in the Scottish play. Screw your courage to the stick. Go out there, do what you want. Get the results you want. Protest. Open your businesses. This is not mandatory law. You have not been told not to do these things. You've been asked. Do you know they want to close all the beaches down? You're going to let them close the beaches down in the UK when the heat, in, this, in the heat? Because if you are, you're slaves. If this wakes up one person, 
and they go to the beach and get in the water and whatever that lot want to do, they tell them where to go. They can't do anything because you pay them, okay? You pay them. They can't do anything. I'm, I, I'll get in the car and I'll drive down to the beach if they decide to do that. I, come with me to the beach. This world belongs to us. This is the light. Go to the beach, swim, go into nature. They're losing. They're going to throw everything at you, everything they can think of. They'll probably tell you, we were talking about this, me and David Mahoney. They're probably going to tell you there's going to be a fake alien um, uh, takeover soon and dangerous to humanity. Terrible, evil, evil aliens. It's all a hoax. It's all made up. The mainstream media will convince a lot of people, though, because they, they're gone in the head. They're gone in the head. But I'm telling you, it's probably coming because there will be a disclosure at some point. But it will be light beams, love. Again, that will probably happen after Donald Trump gets in. They're going to throw everything at us until he gets in. This is today is the awakening. I woke up feeling sick and now I don't feel sick because I'm feeling my feelings. The liver is the seat of emotions. If you suffer from bile, if you suffer from nausea, if you suffer from bowel dis uh, problems, anything like that, the digestive system is all about your emotions. The liver is the seat of emotions. I have a huge amount to teach. If you want me to work with you directly, I mean, I have friends that charge 700 pounds a month to do similar to what I do. And I'm trying to get them to help me to learn how to earn a living. 700 pounds a month and they're getting it. Good luck to them. They're getting it. I'm asking you, we can barter and you still say no? That shows me that you're not ready to work on yourself. I'm sorry, but that's the message that is going out loud and clear. I will barter with you guys for my work. I'm bartering here. I give you the programs, you watch them, you send it out. That's all I'm asking is support moving on TV so we can grow into the media, your media. Come on moving on TV, send the programs around. At some point there will be a sponsor the interviews are getting amazing feedback. People are saying that I ask the questions that nobody else asks. Me and Charlie Ward, we go right in there. Charlie's got the smile. I've got the smile. <laughs> Yesterday I had the cleavage. You know, use what you, you've got in a positive way. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's awakening. I am wide awake. And I've got my interview at four o'clock with the lovely Kate Shemriani. And also I put out today, I put Jaden out today with Talking in Isolation. He's talking about books. He's in Australia, he's a young actor, and he's sending us, making his own programs from Australia, our own Mr. Darcy. So, you know, um, everything I do is for you and to grow moving on TV as a new MSM because I want a job. Last time I got paid, I was working in a, a residential home, singing, doing activities two days a week. That was it. I earned 500 pounds a month. That was my work. And then I got sacked because I became a whistleblower for what's really going on in um, the homes. And I turned all my attention to moving on TV. Now we've, I've had 10,000 views in the last, since I got cut off, Facebook, nearly 10,000 views for the programs I've put out. 10,000 views in 50 days, 58 days, because today is 58, 59 days, nearly two months. That's two months, 10,000 views. That means I've grown. <laughs> you know, I used to get one view here and there. 10,000 in two months. To me, that's huge. It means we're growing and we're growing. So come on board with us. You're going to grow. Uh, you get so much loyalty if you sponsor us. We talk, we discuss, and we find out what works for you. And if you're a company that produces makeup and products for women without sodium lauryl sulfate, parabens, aluminium, 
talcum powder, tal uh, oh, d dangerous minerals that are going to destroy you, then please come on board Moving On TV. We want you as our sponsor. <laughs> we will do anything. You BF sends us the message out loud and clear. She says, I don't wear any of the makeup. Only organic makeup because it helps me to feel nude. <laughs> That's yeah. You can watch the adverts. I'll be putting on Moving On TV adverts soon so you can see what you're going to get. You'll see what you get when you join Moving On TV. Okay, I love you lots. Um, I'm taking you, hopefully you feel a little bit lighter now. We're having a laugh. Okay, let's read How to Stay Sane in the Crazy World and, and see if we can get some more answers, synchronistic for today, how to help you today. Because the weather in the UK is not as nice as it was. Um, some of you will go into depression, small steps. Today, I'm going to say, set some small achievable goals. Tiny steps on a daily basis lead to your great dream manifesting itself in a magical way. If you want the cards, they're 12 pounds and you can get them for me, how to stay sane in the crazy world. They were channeled by myself after I came out of the community and out of the wheelchair that I was in when I had a serious accident. You can get them from me or you can get them from the Positivity Center in Nashton Lane, Burnham, from Paul McDonald and Cecil Malava. okay, when they open. Okay, now I'm going to do some Sri Baba cards. Sri Baba, and see what Sri Baba says today. We're in the light now, guys. We, we went from the darkness into the light. Okay, Sri Avi Prayas. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but it looks like you've got a lotus flower in your hand. The lotus flower represents beauty, peace, gentleness, growth, floating on the river, just floating, floating gently, taking you from the darkness into the light, helping you float around in life in a gentle way. That's part of it, but you're doing god's work today and as i say course in miracles has said to us there is one life and i share with love you've only got one life to live use it from here use your wisdom use your common sense we ain't having it we do not consent that's all you've got to say and then you've got to decide you've got to contact the right people your mps protest do whatever you need to do that's where we are at the moment for humanity. And yes, there is an alliance working for you, but don't, it doesn't expect you to sit on your ass all day. And sorry, I didn't mean to say that word of moving on TV. <laughs> to sit on your bum all day and do nothing for, to help change your world for your children and the future. Just sitting there meditating all day or just sitting there whinging about the problem is not gonna solve it. You need solutions. And today, spread your wings and fly. We're proud of you. And this is Messages from Heaven by Jackie Newcomb. Okay, so you need to spread your wings and fly. Don't let the bastards get you down. I hope it helped you today. I hope I was able to take you from the dark into the light in a way where you are able to experience what you need to experience without running away from what I'm doing to you, without being the catalyst and the waker upper that I am. Right, wish me luck with the interview I'm doing. I love you lots. Take care, my darlings. Have a beautiful day. Contact me, moving on TV1 at gmail.com. If you want to sponsor me <laughs> or if you want to donate anything, okay? Uh, it's come to that now. I've got to ask. Um, there's a PayPal link down below. Subscribe, like, and share. We've been doing this now for 60 days and I've never mentioned anything like that, but now I am. I'm coming out of my comfort zone, Kay Ash, Kai Ashley, and Brad Yates. Love you lots. Take care. Bye bye.
Thank you.